The National Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers is accusing some government officials of misappropriating parts of the funds allocated for the repair of 21 critical highways across the country, as saying the situation could worsen the fuel scarcity challenges in the country. While well, Nupeng alleges that the 621 billion naira from the road infrastructure tax credit scheme has been depleted. Well, the union says the delays in repairing these roads have caused several loss of lives and properties, including that of many petroleum tanker drivers. To our greatest shocks, we heard it from very reliable sources that some vultures in the gaps of being the state government official of Ministry of Works and Housing and politicians are already depleting the, this fund and misappropriating them on roads and projects not intended in the agreement as approved by the Federal Executive Council. Our union will go to all length to expose these unscrupulous individuals. Every cover of this approved fund must be accounted for, and we must see and broadcast the pre and post reappreciation of this, the identified 21 federal road to the old nation. Taxpayers must know, must be accounted for. Let me repeat it. Taxpayers' money must be accounted for. We urge every patriotic Nigerian to rise up and join us in this, in this struggle. This is not a fight for Nopeng alone. It is our collective fight. Well, to discuss this development, we're joined by petroleum and energy consultant Dan uh, D. Kunle. Thank you so much for joining us Thank on Newsnight. So much happening in Nigeria's oil and gas yeah. uh, is really troubling. But uh, l let me start by quoting your 2020 report that says uh, the petrol that's sold to Nigeria from Europe is dirtier than what the so-called illegal refiners in the Niger Delta actually put out there in Nigeria. What exactly is the fundamental issue here? You heard uh, Farouk Ahmed say that he would not take responsibility for what has happened. Of course, the president has issued a query. Is it for lack of standards, really? Or a complicit, you know, uh, staff of the NNPC? Or where? Where's yeah. the board being yeah. dropped? Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Here we are again. Here we are again. We have, we have we have been on this journey for for decades now. It's unfortunate that the Nigerian citizen have to go through all these humiliations and sufferings every day over a product that can be managed effectively and efficiently. But as the case, and those of us who have been showing so much passion sentiment and emotion about this this downstream deregulation complete deregulation you can now see mr president is now showing emotion and sentiment over the sovereigns of the nigerian people you see it, it's a double edged sword when we said don't don't hold on to this subsidy forever and ever in the hand of government we said it clearly you can, the quality of what we are bringing into this country, Nigeria is import dependent heavily, heavily. We are import dependent in almost everything. Even the tires in our vehicles are imported. Yep. So what is the quality of the tire? So the, the today in Europe, Euro 5 is the petrol in Europe today, and they are even going further in the chemistry of, of petroleum refining. They are going higher. Methanol is largely from sugarcane and, and some other materials, okay, but mm. it's a good blend. They have, because they want to make the environment to be more, to, to be more safe, the climate issue. So, uh, Dangote refinery is going to do Euro 5, very good quality Plain petrol. Quality. So yeah. our problem is the, where is the quality inspector? We, we have inspectors. SGS, Society General, Savile, we have Intertech, we have, uh, the, we have all of them in those days. Okay, where were they? Didn't they give certification from the refinery? Any refinery in Europe or Russia, anywhere, there must be certification. All right, let me, let me ask the, you. The vessel, the vessel that loaded that, that product 
has to get certificate, the bill of lading, everything, somebody signed it. Yeah, that, the product inside there met so 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 specification of where it is going. But as I have said, Nigeria is, is a heavily import dependent country. Everything is dumped here. Okay, Dan, because of what you have raised yeah. now, help us understand, because I mean that's the crux of the matter and that's what's in people's minds. Help us understand how this lapse could have occurred based on the things you said. And to be precise, the minister says government is not in a rush to meet out punishment, but that those yep. whose cars were damaged will be put into consideration. What's your sense of these in the light of the fact that NMPC, even though it's limited now, company, but midstream downstream, belong to the government? Yes, you see, <laughs> there are so many multiple issues that even if we spend the next two hours trying to dissect it and situate them and calibrate them one by one and try it, we, 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 it will not be enough. Let me just give you one straight answer. Yeah, Timmy Sliver, the Honorable Minister, it, it's good to compensate the people, but look, how do you, where is the warranty in this country? How do you claim guarantee and warranties in this country? How? So if, if the car I am using, what, what do I know is the, is the status of that car? When you give me a petrol that is full of sulfur or methanol and it knocked the engine, okay, or I have problem. Even the, for you to do the assessment, to do valuation and compensate me, the processes, the, the claim. So let us leave all those. Those are even the, those are just derivative problems. The main problem, what the main account. problem is that as long as government remain the sole importer of this product that is so important for this country, government in Nigeria since I was born is inefficient in doing anything in this country. They run us to this level until the elites agree. If the elites agree today to remove subsidy, it will go. If the elites agree, if they come together, elitist concession and say, Mr. President, let it go. We will convince the citizens of the country that we will put the subsidy uh, uh, saving to education, well, to health. To it about, will go. If you want to talk so about it subsidy. is the inefficient yeah. governmental okay. institutions that create this problem. They are the one, if not, look, it, it, who is the importer of the petroleum product? Government. Who pays? Government. Who takes delivery? Government. Who, who, who allocate the, the product when it arrives in Lagos port or Poracourt port? Government. So, 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 so all the people involved, if I were Mr. President, mm -hmm. I would have asked everybody from that downstream institution that are key, uh, holding key position to be dismissed. Then they will now know that uh, Mr. President really mean business this time around. I will say they will be dismissed. Not only being dismissed, these are the issues that EFCC support. This is national economic crime. These are the type of issues I will ask EFCC. Check who is the inspector, which refinery in the world, which, how many countries in the world have high level uh, sulfur content crude. If, you, if it is the sweet crude of Nigeria you took outside to refine and bring back, so how did the methanol level become so high like that? Mm -hmm. So exactly. So what is the blend ratio that was agreed? Uh -huh. that's a In the laboratory question. chemistry where you do. Yeah. You're so you're you're that's why I say this is it's not, it's not just about compensating two or three cars that knock in Lagos. The matter is more fundamental like that. Government, the, this hotel you are situated today was run by government. They were making losses until we privatize it. Mm. Deregulate the dance stream sector, allow the private sector. Have you ever had shortage of beer in Nigeria? <laughs> who brew beer? Who brew Some beer in Nigeria? Drink private, beers. thank you. <laughs> Have you ever had shortage of uh, water, Nestle water? Well, the subsidy issue you talk about, <laughs> yeah. uh, before we go, in 30 seconds, can you really talk about removing subsidy without, you know, fixing the fundamental issue of the refineries? Madam, if, that, we that's, are that's the if, the elites, if the elites decide to remove subsidy, madam, they will go to the they will go to the, to the laboratory and sit down. If two, just take two brilliant guys in this country and set them to sit down in a room here in this Hilton. For one week, they will bring out the whole template. I can, I can suggest them to the president. They will bring the template that if you remove X amount from here, this is the, this is the effect on this. So if you put that X amount, 
to support education, you will create Bill Gates in 20 years' time. This is the ripple effect. If you put this X amount in primary health, this is the number of healthy people you will have in 10 years' time. So you will now have a robust, healthy society that can be more productive. So why, what, why must it be petroleum product alone if President Buhari in six and a half years could not tackle this problem? Jonathan administration left it for him. Uh, Yaradwa left it for Jonathan. Obasanjo left it. They, so take it back to 1973. You see, the same way the president is very unhappy. It's the same way some of us who grew up here, we evolved here from the farm to this level we are. It's the same way we are very un unhappy that my well, people, the people I grew up with, that didn't have the same privilege like me. When I see them queue, carrying jerrycans in front, the entrance okay. of this hotel, okay. the entrance of this hotel, there. there are jerrycans. They are carrying jerrycans selling petrol in well, front of this hotel. We'll this is the there. gateway of Nigeria. Indeed. It's oh, unfortunate. Okay. It's unfortunate. You can see your passion. So the, your the, the elitist club in this country should go to the president and say, Mr. President, remove this subsidy. We know where to put the saving. Thank you so much.